guess I'm recording. Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, Ron Shawley here. We had a crazy night last night. We had high winds. I clocked winds over 50 mile an hour. We got two trees out here that are, I mean, they're old, old oaks, but they, they came crashing down last night. Um, hey, I want to share with you uh, our friends over at Astra's app. Uh, they're located in Ohio, and I want to make a special note, okay? Right now, all of their products, everything they manufacture is made right here in America, okay? Um, they're doing away with their imports. Uh, they used to sell imports from overseas. They've completely stopped that, and they're going to do nothing but uh, American-made products, okay? And it shows the quality is phenomenal, and they're not going to rake you over the coals. They're not going to charge you an arm and a leg. What we've been talking about for the past couple of years, uh, myself and Jesse and uh, David out there, he's our avid astronomer, um, both for astronomy and for taking pictures, okay? We're trying to find a way to keep dew off of your telescope and off your camera. Now, keeping dew off of a telescope is, I think, a little bit easier. Um, only, only reason I say that is they manufacture what they call a dew shield. And right here, this is a dew shield, okay? Uh, a smart move, Ron, okay? Yeah, I'm moving this right. I get this away from the camera. It's kind of close. But anyway, the AstraZap dew shield, okay? This is a flex heat dew shield, meaning uh, it's Velcroed right there on the end. You can wrap it around your, your scope, okay? It has a heater element built into the dew shield, all right? So when you plug it in, it'll provide heat um, for keeping the dew off your telescope. But what's nice about the astronomy dew shield, you notice how long it is, okay? And if you measure it, okay? Now this one came in and it's a little bit, uh, if you can see this or not, it's a little bit uh, larger. I believe this is a six inch and I got probably a, a lot smaller lens there, but um, you know, in essence, you wrap it around your telescope, okay? And, and, and I noticed how long it is, okay? What well, doesn't matter because the telescope is viewing far away, so it's not going to be obscured by the, uh, the shield itself. You don't even really need the heater element, but it helps, okay? Um, and now if you were to put this on a camera, okay, uh, naturally, you know, if, if you have anything right here, an inch out from here, you're gonna, it's going to show in your camera picture, okay? Because the camera is taking an image basically from this point, or really from about here, out, okay? And anything you put in in front of the shield here, in front of the lens, rather, um, the camera's going to pick it up, okay? But um, what we have done here, I was talking to our friends over at Astra's app, and we are in the process of developing a product um, that can keep dew and frost off your camera all night long. Um, what, the, what they do have right now, which is pretty common in the industry, okay, is basically a heater element like I have right here, okay, and you can see I have it wrapped around the uh, telescope, right, but the heater element, okay, uh, is nothing more than um, your heater element inside the strap here. You wrap it around your camera, you plug it into your controller, your controller plugs into a battery system, okay. Now the problem with that is... And there's no problem at all, but the problem is, there is a problem, folks. Uh, if you're going to be doing astronomy near, near your house, or you're going to a state park where you got power, no big deal. You just simply uh, plug into the AC at the park or your house. You get a converter that converts it from AC to DC. And then from DC, you can plug in your controller. And this would be working all night long okay i just heard i just heard something kind of creepy you know um i'm by myself and i'm hearing something talk hmm okay anyway also by our friends over at the astra zap they manufacture a controller okay everything you need uh for do control uh, give them a phone call. They'll help you out, all right? And this is really quality products. Um, they also have a lot of connections. As you can see, they got Y connections. Um, you're going to need all these devices if you're running more than one 
uh, dew shield, okay, or dew, el dew heater, okay? Um, you have one here, you've got one for your, for your telescope, so if you're running more than one, you absolutely need a dual controller, okay, uh, that you can plug your, um, your, your heater elements into, okay? I can't get too close to the um, device because then the focus is off. Uh, also, okay, for Mastro Zap, next year coming up, we have the uh, uh, solar eclipse. Now, and I recommend these. They manufacture uh, uh, glasses that you can buy, that you can wear. Then you can actually view the sun and the eclipse next year, okay? That's a definite... Um, and they also manufacture a wide variety of uh, solar filters, okay, that you can mount to your camera or your telescope, all right? Uh, and they're very, very well built. Also, folks, when you get them, okay, please, they are fragile, very fragile. Don't be poking them and uh, just be extremely careful with them, okay, because they are fragile. Uh, and they work, they work great uh, for viewing the sun, okay? Again, folks, uh, check out Astro's app. Like I said, they have a huge selection of products, filters, uh, do control products. And if there's something you need specifically, you want to have them custom make it, like I said, give them a call. They'll help you out. Um, but real quick, going back to the, uh, the do shields, okay, and the camera uh, do elements, uh, Astro's app, uh, we're, we're trying to develop a product that can be applied to your telescope and or your camera and without the use of power it'll last all night long so hopefully we can accomplish this task a lot of people have been asking me hey you know what i uh, i don't want to be lugging a car battery up on a mountain when i'm shooting the stars at night you know do you have an option now i say car battery because you almost need a car battery for your dew heater to last all night long all right I've had people say, well, take a disposable hand warmer, break it, and you know what? It lasts 10 minutes, okay? Seriously, folks, um, you, you need a good, good product um, like AstroZap has, Astro has here. They're dew shields, okay? Simply go to www.astrozap.com. Uh, check them out, folks. Okay, I recommend them. And again, they have good quality products, okay? Take care.